But when we start on discussing the, the possibility of having a metal, uh, a carbonyl, that is the lone pair of the oxygen interacting with a pi aryl, a pi -aryl group, the first thing uh, when we were discussing that with other colleagues, they said, you are absolutely crazy. And, and we were convinced that uh, that was not possible. But of course, you have to look very close to these things before saying no to that. But the first thing we thought, well, we are going to waste some time of this. And what would uh, happen? Ah, one month uh, uh, looking on all, all these things. And if nothing comes out, at least we can write, write uh, a very small paper, or the smallest paper, or the shortest paper, uh, metal carbonyl by Ariel. Looking for metal carbonyl Ariel, then the names of the authors, the uh, where they were from, and then abstract. There are no conclusions, there are no. So it was interesting, an interesting short communication. But it was not like the short communication, it was not like that. We found it. And there are, there are not many, but there are. Most of the metal carbonyl coordinating compounds that have also a phenyl ring, most of them, they have uh, a carbonyl pi interaction. And that was really absolutely uh, unexpected for all these kind of uh, thing. So again, we have a new symptom, a new kind of uh, interaction, a new kind of soft, soft interaction that is responsible for the fact that a crystal is grown. So again, the kind of searches we have done. So we have 1D, uh, 0D uh, arrangements and 1D uh, arrangements. And that's all, most of it. But this is, was really unexpected. And uh, it was not very easy to convince the referee. Uh, that was uh, this kind of things that come and go a couple of times. And then we go to the, what about lone pair pi interaction in biology? That was the, the second part of the story. So what has all this to be? And, and what is the importance of uh, these interactions in biology? Who is interested in that? Well, the, the interesting thing in this story is that, for instance, the Hydrogen bond involving a carbon, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen. This kind of hydrogen bond was discovered first in a biological molecule. And then it comes into the chemistry. Then chemists start on looking of this kind of interaction. So in this case, we made the other way. The other way. We were interested in that and tellurium and then we start on looking if first if we we have this kind of structures second if we do not have this kind of structure we can predict this kind of structures and if we predict this kind of interactions in a molecular biology what is the relationship between them in the uh, huge molecular environment and in a small crystal molecule. What is the difference? The, or if there is some kind of difference. So the first work, she's sitting over there. The first part of this was a, a series of uh, tellurium compounds. Now, where the tellurium was b uh, uh, bonded to chlorine, bromine, and iodine, and cadepsin B. 
And what was the, well, this is uh, just to show the kind of interactions we found. They are all the same in the, in our research, in the research is in silico, there's a theoretical uh, uh, project in this. But you can see that the pi interactions are responsible for the way this compound comes into the cathepsin and it, it's a way of rationalizing why these compounds work as inhibitors and all this kind of int all other very well known uh, hydrogen bond interaction but i want to you to to look for something we have also secondary bonds to the chlorine of the same molecule and to an oxygen of a glycine and what we have found and this is very important what we have found is that all the compounds they come into the biological molecule into the cathepsin in the same way and moro moreover not only in the same way the coordination around the tellurium is the same the only difference of course is that in the small in the crystal the tellurium is secondary bonded to a, a chlorine or a bromine of a neighbor molecule or iodine in in the in the cathepsin this situation this position of the chlorine or bromine or iodine is substituted by the oxygen of the glycine so the behavior of the tellurium in the is exactly the same but there is another thing most interesting on that and that shows that we cannot predict anything is this if you see the in these uh, drawings these are the crystallographic uh, molecules and the, these are the and you see in the chlorine where the tellurium is bonded to two chlorines the third chlorine is uh, in a position, uh, this chlorine is in Engegen in the in a, a position uh, like the organic people like to show. In this one, it's Z and in iodine also.